YouTube, my name is Kays. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. I'm going to be bringing you guys the favorite maps in Call of Duty history. You guys tweeted at me some favorite maps of yours from Call of Duty Past, and we're just going to be going through them and sharing which are your favorites. So let's hop straight into it. Alright, so I got a couple of tweets from you guys from Modern Warfare 2 to Black Ops 3, current Call of Duty. What was your favorite map in that Call of Duty? And I gotta say, you guys are very smart. The tweets that you gave me, I was like, wow, I do agree with you. Those are good maps. So I'm gonna be talking about like some maps that you said from Modern Warfare 2 to Black Ops 3. Now the first map we're gonna be talking about is Terminal for Modern Warfare 2 and three now if you didn't like that map you were something else right you had to like terminal it was a really good map everyone loved it if you didn't like it then what maps could you possibly like because everyone loved terminal only problem was the spawn trap and such but that could you know kind of easily be avoided in a way if they fix it and stuff but terminal was a really really good map i'm gonna have pictures on the screen as well of the maps just in case you guys aren't familiar with them yourselves not in that age of call of duty which i wasn't but i played modern warfare 2 and 3 and terminal was a great great map that was definitely one of my favorites in modern warfare 2 and 3 so yeah that was from those past call of duties now the next map is rust oh modern warfare 2 rust the 1v1 map that everyone loved, right? You know, Sniper's 1v1, Rust, all the time. And Rust was a great map as well. That was the first ever, ever Call of Duty map I've played against my brother. 1v1 when I was about 9. and Or not 9, like less than that, like 7 or something like that. Um, we played on Rust, we 1v1, I lost. But still, Rust was a great map. Now, the next map we're going to be talking about here is Dome for Modern Warfare 3. And they also made a remake in Call of Duty Ghost, if you guys remember that. Um, and Dome is a great map. It's a tiny map, of course. These are all, like, tiny maps that we're talking about right now. We're going to get into more as well. But um, Dome was a really cool map. You can go on the top. It was also really good for Infection. A lot of people played Infection. You would camp on the top of the Dome, and that would be it. You wouldn't die unless, you know they tomahawked you or something but dome was definitely a fan favorite in modern warfare 3 so that's why they brought it back to call of duty ghost as a remade dlc map and then without going in depth in the other ones because i don't want to say stuff that's not true because i i haven't played modern warfare 3 so so much i played it a good amount but i'm not sure from the maps on the top of my head i played it a while back but some other good maps that I got from Lone Wolf, he said Sea Town, Arcade, and hopefully I said that right, Resistance, Bootleg, Underground, High Rise, High Rise from Modern Warfare 2, I know that map, that one was a good map as well, and yeah, those are all great maps from the older Call of Duty, so if you remember those maps, or you were in that Call of Duty age where you actually played those maps, let me know down in the comments, I would love to know from you guys, and yeah, let me know down below, because I personally, I never really played Modern Warfare 2, like a lot, a lot, but I did know the maps, I do, I did have it on my PC as well, and yeah, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, those are some of the favorite maps that you guys tweeted at me. So we're going to head into more futuristic, not really, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 3, COD Ghost, Advanced Warfare, maybe. I don't think I have any Advanced Warfare there, but we're going to talk about it. All right, so moving on to Black Ops 1. Firing Range was one of your guys' favorites that you guys tweeted at me, and I agree with you guys. Firing Range remade in Black Ops 2 studio a dlc map it was a really good map now i like firing range i like studio those are probably one of my favorites in black ops 2 and black ops 1 and i agree with you guys on that one you also said um you also said black ops 1 nuketown that was good as well you know it wasn't the futuristic nuketown how we got in black ops 2 and then futuristic futuristic in black ops 3 it was really good though i agree with you guys on that black ops 1 Firing Range, Nuketown, awesome maps. Um, yeah, those were really, really great maps in those two games. You guys didn't send me so much Black Ops 1 maps, so that's kind of all. But moving on to Black Ops 2, we've got Raid, Meltdown. I don't really agree on that one. But we have Raid, Standoff, 
those are really, really good maps. Um, those maps were great for all sorts of game modes. Raid was actually one of my favorites. Bringing back to Black Ops 3, Standoff, also another great map in my opinion. Um, and then you had some bad maps of Black Ops 2, of course. But those were some of the good ones. Now, we're going to head over to the most controversial Call of Duty games that I can probably talk about. AW, Ghosts, and Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 isn't so controversial, but AW and Ghosts. Of course, we're going to have some fights that may be down in the comments. I'm not going to give my opinion on the games. I don't want to start anything, but we're going to just talk about the maps on those games. Um, let's talk about Ghosts first. Fringe. That was a great map. I loved Fringe. I absolutely loved it. Octane. Competitive maps like those were awesome. There was Strike Zone, kind of close quarters and stuff like that. It was a small map. But those maps, they were great. I absolutely loved them. You know, because it was... They were also S&D maps. And Ghost S&D wasn't so bad. So it wasn't such a bad thing. I like those maps and ghosts and all of that. In Advanced Warfare, we actually had good maps as well. We had Solar, we had Retreat, we had Detroit. That was a really good map. Biolab, Comeback. Those are actually really, really good maps in Advanced Warfare, in my opinion. I love to play on those maps. I did play a little bit of competitive in Advanced Warfare, I know. Um, those were really good maps when I did play, even when I didn't. You know, those are probably one of my favorites. My favorite, my most favorite solar no doubt i love solar i love the way the map was and all of that so those are my favorite maps from advanced warfare and now heading to black ops 3 we got combine we've got nuketown uh there's just so much maps in black ops 3 that are actually good and there's a more good maps in black ops 3 compared to bad so that's a really good feature to it those are my favorite maps in Call of Duty history. I want to thank you guys for tweeting me um, some of your favorite maps as well. Because it wouldn't be possible to make this video without your guys' tweets. So yeah, big thumbs up if you guys did tweet at me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Hit that subscribe button down below. Let's aim for 50 likes for this video. That'd be awesome. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, if you're on this part of the video, comment hashtag maps. That way I know you guys are. Leave your favorite maps down in the comment section so I know what are your favorite maps throughout whole Call of Duty history. You can even go back to World at War. I didn't include that stuff because I wasn't there. I don't have enough knowledge for that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have yourselves a fantastic day. You've been the Case Crew. I've been Case. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.